welcome to my channel. Hello kids, I'm your teacher Zell. Welcome to science class, quarter one, week five, day two. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to describe changes that happen in household materials when they are burned. Today, we're going to study about materials and their uses when it is burned. Before we proceed to our discussion, read the concept map following the direction of the are when materials are thrown away, they become question. Can you recall what changes usually happen to things when we throw them away? Here's the concept map. We have here the parts of concept map. When materials are thrown away, in number one box, they become what is your answer class? Of course, they become bent, crumpled, torn, wet, spoiled, rotten, broken, and rusty. Good job, kids! Now, observe again the concept map. What are the other parts you see in the concept map? Identify the different boxes in the concept map. So here, materials burned for the second box. What do you think is the answer? We will find out along the way. Let's go kids! In most households, one way to dispose of trash is burn it. Like when we throw them away, materials change when we burn them. Look at this picture. The materials are burning. In this session, you will be able to answer what happens to materials when we burn them. Let's go predict prediction burning. Question, what do you think will happen to a material when it is burned? Here is the answer. I think when materials are burned, the materials will become. What do you think is the answer, kids? And we will find out. Now, Let's go to the group activity. I will divide you into four groups, like what we did yesterday. Group 1 and 2 will observe the changes in paper and juice cartons before and during the burning. Group 3 and 4 will observe the changes in leaves and tree twigs before and during burning. Now, copy first the table on a manila paper. In the first column, we have here the materials. In the second column, we have described the material before they were burned. And in the third column, describe the materials why they are burning. Let's go, kids! Meanwhile,
Meanwhile, now he does it step two and three. We have here. What changes are common to all of the materials you observe in the activity? Changes that occur in materials when they are disposed of and burned materials can be thrown away or burned. When this happens, these materials change. Sometimes, these changes can harm people, animals, plants and our environment this concept map shows what we'll we we'll learn this week we will fill in the boxes as we go through our lesson here's again the concept map for number one answer we have ben crumpled thorn wet Oiled, rotten, broken, and rusty after the materials thrown away. And at the bottom we have here materials burned. And for number two, let's process the activity. It's true that burning materials is a common practice in many households around the world. People often burn things for various reasons such as First, we have the yard waste. Fallen leaves, dry twigs, and garden trimmings are often burned to clean up the backyard. Cooking, in some places, charcoal, wood, or paper is burned for cooking, especially in traditional stove or outdoor fires. And uh, number three, we have waste disposal. Sometimes paper, cardboard, or other household waste is burned to reduce trash volume. This is not really a good practice. Burning materials can be dangerous for human and the surroundings as you will learn in the next lesson. What change have you observed always happen when a material is burned big? Burned sheets of paper, plastic, juice, carton, slips, and twigs all have become hotter while burning. Okay, and reduce smoke while burning. Good job, kids. So let's revisit again the concept map. What is your answer in number two box? Okay, the answer kids is it makes the smoke comes out and the materials becomes hot. Good job kids! And now let's proceed to the evaluation. Burning situations. Below are pictures of things you find out home. In the second column, draw what you think would happen if these things were burned. Under your drawing, describe how each materials change. This is number one, the katol. For number two, we have newspaper. What is your answer? Of course, here's the answer for number one. Number one. It produces smoke and the uh, katol gradually become ash. And number two, newspaper. The newspaper burned. Yes, it, it produces uh, smoke and flame and uh, the paper become ash. Okay, good job kids! And for your homework, be submitted tomorrow. Ask your parents or guardians about the materials you usually burn at home. Have them describe what happens to the materials while burning. 
Thank you, kids, for listening. See you next time.